What's up ADHD crew? Today I want to address my issue that I've experienced over the last 10 years or so with drinking alcohol and how it's affected me. There's strong evidence that alcohol and substance abuse is tied to ADHD and I think I am no exception to the rule. It's uh, it's quite a personal subject and it's quite sensitive and it's it's um, it's really quite hard to be open about it, I suppose. It's not so bad now at age 31, but from the ages of about 18 to 25 especially, it caused mayhem. I've gotten into trouble and I've done things that I'm not proud of because back then it would unleash what I could only describe as Mr. Hyde because my ADHD was just a lot worse. You know, I'm not really an outwardly hyperactive person and I don't have a hyperactive case of ADHD, but it would seem to change my personality and bring out hyperactive traits in me. And the amount of times I've woken up the next day full of anxiety and guilt and said to myself that I swear I'm never going to drink again is countless. The primary problem I've experienced with alcohol is that once I start, I seem to have an issue with stopping. I don't know what it is, but it gives me a buzz and I really enjoy it. And it just makes me feel free. It's very liberating. For some reason, beer and lager doesn't really affect me. It's kind of more of a mellow drunkenness. But there's something about hard alcohol like whiskey and vodka that really ramps up my hyperactivity and makes me behave in a more reckless way. So for that reason, I cannot trust myself to buy a bottle of alcohol. I would love to be one of these guys that could have, you know, a nice whiskey collection. But for the life of me, I can't just stick to one drink when it comes to hard alcohol. So I can't go out and buy a bottle of whiskey and savour it in one night. Oh no, mm-mm. Not gonna happen. I've got a bottle that I've kept here from a couple of weeks ago that serves as a reminder of how severe the problem can be for me. And this is what I drank in one night. The way I describe it is, it's kind of like a feeling of wanting to escape and detach from reality to cope with underlying stress and restlessness. Like I need to take a break from everything. There's a desire to control myself and a desire to mask uncomfortable thoughts. And it's like my mind craves stimulation and wants to break free from the monotony and boredom that comes with a very tame, ordinary life. It's like I'm trying to just create some excitement and I know that it's unhealthy. So, you know, these days I understand that I need to replace a negative habit with a positive habit that offers me some level of similar stimulation. I also use it as a social lubricant and... Being a person that struggles a bit socially, in terms of being socially awkward and shy, I feel like that's fed into the cycle of abuse. And here in the UK, a big part of socialising is drinking alcohol, unfortunately. I don't seem to have anything in common with my friends outside of drinking. And I've realised this over the last few years, but I haven't been able to really detach myself because I feel like, well, I need to have somebody. But the problem is, is that it feeds into that lifestyle that's destructive to me and it's detrimental to my well-being. So even to this day, I'm trying to find new people to connect with. I'm trying to pursue new friendships with like-minded people and force myself to hang out with new people that want to do things sober, that want to try things that are different and get outside and actually do something in the fresh air or experience something unique. I have to remove myself from this environment, you know, because the amount of time I waste being hungover and feeling like shit and feeling depressed for days after, it's so bad for my mental health that I just can't justify going out on a night out and getting lashed anymore. I've often asked myself if I'm a functioning alcoholic, but it's kind of grey. I mean, nobody wants to admit it to themselves, but I know for a fact that I'm a problem drinker and I know that I probably shouldn't drink at all. But if I'm completely honest, I, you know, I still drink now and again, but I try to control it as best as I can. And I need to really regulate and be strict with my intake so that I can remain in control. You know, I've got to be honest, I am not free of this issue. I'm still facing this issue to this day. You know, sometimes on the weekends after a week of hard work, the craving is real. It's really strong, you know, and I find it hard. Sometimes I can go a couple of weeks without drinking and I'm just feeling good and I feel proud of myself. And then other times... I'm just feeling weak and I need to give in. I need to go off and buy some booze to blow off steam.